This is a quick demo of White Room uh, for Hire. So it starts off in 5 4, so we've got 5 beats in the bar. The rhythm is. So that's 1, 2, and a 3, 4, and 5. With a crash on the 1, and the rest of the rhythm is played around the toms. So the order is the high tom, the middle tom, the middle tom again on the next bar, and then the floor tom. So the whole first two lanes sounds like this. Fairly straightforward once you've got the rhythm, so Okay, the, to get out of that section into the main groove, we've simply got a crash on the one, rest on two, flam on three, and the snare drum. So the second line of the piece sounds like this. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, the next bit is really straightforward. Uh, let's look at the second bar, that's where it becomes uh, slightly more complicated with syncopated snare drums. So we've got. That's the one to learn if you're struggling with any of these parts because it all comes from that in some way. So, step one would be taking the beat without any syncopated snare drums, which would be this. And we're going to put one snare drum in between the AND of two and beat three, so it's Focusing in on that bit, our hands are going right, right. So that snare drum's right in between that hi-hat rhythm, so... Spend some time getting that perfect and then you can add the bass drums in. Okay, so now we can just loop the first half of the bar, which we get this. The second half of the bar has a snare drum in between the first two bass drums. Once you're happy with that, try and put them both together. The same pattern happens again at the end of the next bar going into the fourth bar. So that's over the next line. So. And then we're into the first fill. So slowly up until the first fill we've got... And if you skip down two lines after that, we can see it's exactly the same type of idea. And then onto the fills. So take your time with that groove and make sure all these are really nice and neat in between the this, this snare drums. All them are really nice and neat and you're not going... Russian stuff. So it might be worth practicing. What we don't want to hear is. But quite often, people, when they try this for the first time, their bass drum and hi hat don't match up. Uh, and they. That sort of thing starts happening. Bass drum and snare drum playing at the same time, so just make sure it's really, really neat. Let's look at the fill on the first time bar. 
So the basic rhythm of the fill is one and two and a B and a four and a. Make those two first notes the bass drum. We can also put bass drums in on beat three and on beat four. So first two notes bass drum and hi-hat. Then we can voice it around the kit and add the flam in on beat two. So the beat two's got flam, so we can to notice is there's only two notes on the middle tom. and the bar before, we're going three, four. And that takes us back to the beginning of the lane before. Let's look at the second time bar fill, dead simple, four semi-quavers on snare, four semi-quavers on the high tom. Bar before the bar after again. Okay, let's look at the next bar, uh, next fill. Again, just a two beat fill this time on three and four. A rhythm is three E, apple E, and. Three E, apple E, and. First four notes are all on the snare drum. The way that I find easiest to stick this is right, left, left, right, left, right. The last two notes are on the high tom and the floor tom, which is where the sticking works because it's left high, right floor. So there's only one tiny little pause, and that's after the first two notes. Pause. After the first two notes, so pause. So after that pause, it's left, right, left, right. So with the bar before and the bar after, we get. All right, so let's go from the start of line three, and I'll play all the three fills. I'm going on to the next bit. One, two, three, four. This was a slightly more tricky just because it's quite fast. We've got semi quaver triplets on the beat three and beat four of the last bar of that line. So, the way we're going to think about this is there's a, th a group of three notes on three and and four and. So, three and four and. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Obviously that's pretty slow. Let's use how it sounds in context though. So I think this is more just about getting the feel of those triplets uh, against the quavers. B 
being able to feel that at fast tempos is quite tricky. So one way to do it is just accent the first group of three. So the accents will come on right hand and left hand. And just count them as one and two and three and four and like one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. And two and three and four. Just go really slowly and build it up. One and two and three. in the right symbol with the bass drum after the fill because that's what's happening next. Okay, so the bar before, then the fill and the bar after. Okay, so on to the bar after now. Really simple groove. Just notice that the hi hat is on two and four with the snare drum. This groove stays the same with one slight alteration at the end of four bars we've got on the bass drum. Then it's back to how it was before. Then at the end, we've got the exact same rhythm as the beginning, but we're doubling up, so instead of... All you have to do here is make sure you're not getting any flams. So it takes a bit of practice, especially to get that left hand doing those triplets. Just be really light and relaxed. Not much to this, just be wary on the fills that you're absolutely nailing them, uh, especially this one. It's easy to think you're doing that right when you're not doing quite what's written. Uh, so yeah, that's all, all point room. <laughs>